Well, it's trash slash recycling day here on Lincoln Street on this beautiful, windy, windy, windy day, which means it looks like a uh, trash bomb completely went off. Trash is just blowing up and down the streets. And, um, you know, here at the church, we're always picking up trash. Um, it always gets stuck in the bushes around the rectory, and then it always gets blown over into the lawn at the church and uh, sticks there because of the way the wind circulates, you know. And so just uh, you never you don't have control of the wind. You have no control over how it's going to go. It's going to fly up the street, down the street, in the other roads. You just, you just don't know. But you deal with it, you know. I mean, like, it's... I find it to be very, it's very penitential, going out there, picking up the trash. I normally do that in great anger. Um, I already did that once this morning. I picked up the whole lawn and looks so much better up until, you know, the next round comes flying down. Um, yeah, you just don't have control. And so you just simply do what you have to do. Um, moving forward again in these moments we don't have control we don't have control of what is simply coming away at times and and that's that's okay you know i mean it's it is what it is um but one thing we do have control over is whether or not we allow ourselves to be moved by a very powerful uh force a very powerful wind that is uh the holy spirit continually working in our lives Trusting in the movement of the Holy Spirit at all times, um, you know, and just being open to that movement of the Holy Spirit. And in, in doing that, by allowing our hearts to be opened by the movement of the Holy Spirit, we have that greater trust um, in which we will start to experience the peace of Christ in a powerful new way, even during these very crazy moments that we are in, that we don't have control over and so today, you know, with all the wind that's going on, simply trust in the movement of the Holy Spirit. Um, Holy Spirit, that, that love is there for you. It's trying to make itself known. Again, Judah got the fire of the Holy Spirit on his head. Jude, what is that? Is that your, what is, why is that there? Is that your pet? Why do you have a pet rooster? Yeah, they seem, well, there's not too many of those running around the city, huh, Jude? Well, f a few. It is what it is. At least it's colorful. There you go. Enjoy the day. Let the Holy Spirit in your life. Amen.